What's good, Relocation Football League fans? It's your boy Smitty, and here this time we got Rob in the building. He's going to be commentating with us. What's going yeah. on? What's going on? <laughs> Glad to have him back, and we got ourselves one heck of a Big 12 matchup here, the Red River rivalry between Texas and Oklahoma. Who do you guys think is going to come out on top of this one? So far, the Texas Longhorns are higher ranked at 17, and Oklahoma – is uh, a little lower there at 24. One thing I can say, though, Oklahoma, as of late, has been kind of balling as of lately. Uh, when you say, Rob? Yeah, man, they've been doing pretty good. You know, got a solid uh, you know, solid uh, defense, man, nice quarterback, and, you know, ground game going pretty good for them. So, you know, I mean, I think I think this is a, a definitely, a, you know, a pretty good team, kind of hanging on the edge right there at five losses, though. So going to yeah. be pretty difficult to climb the charts, man. But, I mean, who you know, who knows, man, you know. <laughs> yeah, and Texas came up with a big upset last week. They were able to beat West Virginia 30-27. to Here they are going up against Oklahoma, who we said were hot, but they lost last week. And so it's going to be interesting to see how this river, uh, this Red River rivalry turns out this time. The last time these guys faced in real life, the final score just last year in 2018. Well, that's not last year. That's two years ago. Uh, well, it is last year. I'm dripping. I almost thought it was 2020 already. But uh that score was 48 to 45. So that's a high scoring game. Hopefully we could get something like that here in this one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to the action. Texas Longhorns traveling to Oklahoma to take on the Sooners. I'm going to give a shout out to the people who's here. We got Anthony Mullis in the building, Two Face Bison, Harvey McGee, Evan. Uh, we got uh, Coach Chiz. Parker Thomas in the building, Coach Armstrong. Big shout out to you guys as always showing that support. But here we go. You can hear it. It's game time. Red River, River rivalry here upon us. Who's going to come up with the victory? Four and four Texas takes on three and five Oklahoma. We should have a good one. Let us know in the chat who you guys think is going to win this game. We are live here in Oklahoma, man, and normally this game is played at the Cotton Bowl in Texas, but hey, we brought it here to Oklahoma, man. The Red River rivalry, I'm going to say Red River showdown, because that's a tongue twitter, we're, we're Red River, <laughs> that's a tongue twister right there, man, but it's getting intense down here, man, and man, what do you think, what do you think, Smitty? I think this is be a really good game, man, two really good teams, and we're on Madden 20 now for the second week in a row. I think we're going to see a good performance between both of these ball clubs, that's for sure. But here goes the ball on the tee. It's kicked off in Texas. It's going to start with the field position at the six-yard line. Breaks the first tackle and goes down at the 29. And so we'll get our first look at starting quarterback Sam Ellinger. Oh, man, you can hear the intensity in here as Sam Ellinger is coming out on the field here in front of this classic game. This has been going on since 1900, man. These teams have played. And, um, man, Texas has won 62 of those games. And it's just always been, you know, just a, a battle between these two teams. Although since 2000, Oklahoma is actually 13-7, and seven, man, looking to probably try to pull another one here tonight. And if they can do that, that will be an upset. So they are definitely looking forward to that. We just saw an upset just yesterday as Washington took their second loss in a row. A lot of people are in question to see if they'll be even in the top four after this week. But here goes Sam Ellinger. And around the football, get to the outside, breaks the tackle, and this is what he does. Tries to lower his shoulder. He goes down at the 46-yard line. That is a first down for the Longhorns. Oh, man, what an awesome run that was right there, man. Been in the corner to the outside, man. Already stepping up with some guts right here, man. Takes the read right here, goes outside. Some poor tackling right there by Oklahoma right here, man. Like I like how he dips his head right there, man. Hey, I'm not scared, man. That's the way you intimidate the defense. That is the case for sure, especially with Sam Ellinger. He is not afraid of contact, always is an explosive runner, and you got to look out because he is pretty strong, can run you over, as we've seen him do in real life. Shout out to Cody Hill, Alex Perez, and Anthony Calhoun. Appreciate you guys coming through. Play action as Ellinger will look to throw for the first time today, and it was a strike over the middle for a first down. That's a generic prospect right there to Michael Rowland. You can see just coming across the middle. Beautiful strike there by Ellinger. Going to be on the side of Oklahoma's field. And already, this is a great start for Texas. Wouldn't you say, Rob? Yeah, and it's, it's all about that footwork right there. As you saw rolling right there, man. Take a little slant play and 
man, just just wide open over the middle right there, man. Great, great catch right there. Excellent job as Texas in two plays gets two big first downs. See if they can get another one. Almost jumped in the offside as Oklahoma. No flag was called, and here goes a run. Nice little cutback as he gets to the 35-yard line, and that's the first second down that they'll face today. And we have Anderson Vay, Shackelford, Rodriguez, and Cosby on the old line. Roland Ingram, Watson, Streeter, and Duvernay are going to make up the wide receiver tight ends and half backs. And that boy Streeter, man, this guy can put up some pretty big yards in a hurry, man. That he can, and one thing for sure, you got to watch out also for on the defense side of the ball for Jacob Kane. He's kind of a, like a ball hawk, but he's around a lot. And the guys miss tackles up front. Got off to a rough start, but you know, he's definitely one of their top defensive players. It goes another read option play, and Ellinger almost gets the first down. He falls at the 30, just a yard short, and here goes the first third down of the day. And man, Gallimore, Thompson, and Bledsoe are going to make up the D-line for the Sooners. Kelly, Kelly, and Metcalf are going to make up the outside linebackers, middle linebackers. Motley, Broyles, Kane, and Norwood. And just like you talked about, Jacob Kane, man, looking pretty good. And quite a few games, impact player, man. Pretty good at uh, recovering fumbles we've seen in the previous weeks, man. Just an all-around nice, uh, nice, nice safety, man. Definitely one that I know a lot of RFL teams have taken a lot of interest in. But here, a third and one for Texas. It's a big down. Sam Ellinger. And look, he takes oh, off, and there he goes for a first down. Gets a key block. Oh, to the outside. A first down. <laughs> but he is lucky. Roland is able to recover the football. Great awareness by him, and they will have a first down at the 11. What a wild play. Oh, man, he's got a case of the happy feet tonight, man. Picked up some huge yardage on the play, but, man, you got to hold on to that ball right there. And that almost went the other way right there, man. Luckily, Roland came up with that one. And that was the generic prospect. Dwayne Kelly came through with that huge hit to force that fumble. Almost was able to make it a turnover for the uh, Sooners. But, hey, a first down for Texas. They continue to move, and Ellinger will be under center. Here goes that heavy tank formation, man. I love it. Now picks this one to the outside. Yeah. Cuts up and just delivers a mean stiff arm as he gets about a yard on the plate. But there's a flag. This will be on the offense for holding. And that's the Still center, Shepherdford. Going to cost them 10 yards there for that play. And, I mean... Never want to see that see that called on the field, that's for sure, especially when you got some momentum moving. Yeah, he definitely should have bent that to the outside there, but try to cut it back inside. You never know, that might have been the reason on why that play was called in the first place. There you go with some read option again. They're not afraid to give Sam Ellinger the football, and he is still turning his legs. He gets to the 11-yard line right back. The next play gains back the yards that they lost off the penalty. Yeah, they're putting four, four down linemen right now playing off off of these wide receivers right here man and Ellen just absolutely taking advantage of that man no one on the outside to shut him down he's going to take it all night there you go the wildcat but before they can run the wildcat there's a flag on the play it looks like it was Reggie Streeter yeah, who got caught time. moving early and he, <laughs> he must have been so excited for that play he just you know got a little ahead of himself second down. yeah it looked like Reggie Streeter had called a timeout for a second I was like wait what's going on <laughs> A little confusion. He's frustrated. A lot of guys like to compare him, especially his look to uh, Travis Kelly. Not Travis Kelly. Who, who's the Chiefs name? Tight end again. I'm my. Oh, uh, Travis Kelsey, yeah. Cap Kelsey, <laughs> yeah. I knew I was messing that up. But anyway, second and 15. Here they go. Another quarterback run Double and fumble. another fumble. And it's going to be recovered for a second time by Texas. <laughs> This time by Epps, that's the tight end, and man, how many times are they going to get saved here, and how many times are they going to keep running him in these situations? Man, no idea why they decided to just attack with the ground game right here, man. There must be something they see with this Sooners defense right now, man. It's making them want to run the ball, but it's equaling to two almost potential fumbles that are going to be recovered, man, by the team, man. Wow. And that is going to stay on his stat sheet. That's one thing for sure, which I know he's not going to be happy about. He's got to take care of that football, though. Third and 20 here at the 21-yard line in the shotgun. He needs to pass, of course, in this situation. But he's oh, immediately boy. pressured. That's three fumbles. And every time, it's going to be covered back by Texas. But it will be a stop by the Sooners defense. Oh, man, that's a hat trick and fumbles. I think that's the first time I've seen that in any of these games, man. Look at this. 
tries to break to the outside right there, runs right into a sooner there. Hey, man. And this drive is over too soon, man. As soon as defense man, step you gotta up think, big. man. You gotta think. What is a rivalry game without big hits like this? Three yeah. force fumbles on the first drive of the game. That is just that's amazing. That's three almost turnovers for Oklahoma to start out. Wow. Here goes a field goal attempt. This one should be a chip shot from the 38 or oh, from 38 yards out. Kick is good. And the score here is three to zero in favor of the Longhorns. It's good, Drew Brewer. Appreciate you coming to the live stream. You too, Sean. We got uh, Operation Spike Helmet in the building as well. Uh, awesome crocodile. Shout out to you guys and shout out to guys who maybe haven't commented yet. It seems like everyone's commented so far. We got 13 in the building. Let's try to get 13 likes on this video. Make sure you smash that like button if you are liking what you see. If you are new, check us out at relocationfootballleague.com. And figure out what this league is all about. Right now, you're looking at our college series. And, um, you know, the RFL season is close to come. That is what everyone is waiting for. January 2nd is going to be the time where that rolls out. So you don't want to miss that. Hit that subscribe button today. And here goes this kickoff. And it's going to be fielded at the goal line. And so will take this one past the 20. And a little bit of a trip up gets him out past the 25 at the 26. And out yep. come the Sooners, man. And here's that. You just submitted player Tyler Miller, man. What about yes, this sir. guy? Man, he's he's definitely improved his game since moving over to Madden 20, that's for sure. Madden 19, I don't know what was going on with him. He just was not playing up to Gallenberg. And, uh, I mean, I remember in the first game you were recording, you were telling me, like, yo, this guy is playing way better than he was in the last game. And, you know, we're looking forward to seeing him come out and play that same exact way here in this rivalry game to try to get his team to a bowl game. We need three wins out of the four games they got left. Definitely going to be relying on this kid. What's good, little Capo? Appreciate you coming through the live stream. Here they go, play action. And that's going to be incomplete. That's showing some flashes of Mad 19 right there. And we have Evans, Powers, Alvarez, Samia, and Ford on the old line for the Sooners. Lamb, Sermon, Brooks, Kid, and Morris are going to make with the wide receivers, halfbacks, and tight ends. Wow, what a pass. To the, to the turf. <laughs> yeah, what a pass, man. Hopefully he has something way better than that because that is not how you want to come out in this game. But good thing it's the first play of the game. Okay, you get your little rattles out. But let's see what this he'll do in this next play. Looks like it's going to be another obvious passing play with no one in the backfield. Five wide empty set. And here he goes. Quickly releases. Nice. And this time he's on the money. That's a first down for the Sooners. Yeah, nice dagger right there. The wide receiver, man. Great awareness for him to get that ball. Was out in a zip right there, man. Showing... He can deliver that ball with speed, man. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to Jacob Cunningham coming through. And uh, we got a default man in the building as well. We talk about, uh, he said Oklahoma would win. Yeah, this is a different Oklahoma. They don't got Jalen Hurts here on this team. We got uh, Tyler Miller here who tried to get involved in the ground game here. His first run of the day. He loses a yard, though. Good tackle made there by a minute. Yeah, you see uh, number 90, man. That's a lot of man right there, man. <laughs> Has some predictions. It says uh, uh, Operation Spike Helmet says he's got OU winning this one 28-13. We'll see so far. It's been a pretty interesting start to this game. Haven't seen any touchdowns yet. Seen a couple of big plays to start out for Texas. A couple of rough plays to start out for Oklahoma. But it's only second down. Going to spread out the field here with four wide receivers. And he is going to throw that one. What a catch right there in traffic. Good delivery of the football, and that's another Sooners first down. Yeah, man. Miller also had the slot wide open right there, man, but still threads a little right there. Great reception by the receiver. So they're moving the chains. Pretty good start right now here for the offense, despite the couple of mishaps that they start out with with some incomplete passes and the one yard loss. but. They're still moving here. They're going trying to get the run game started with Tyler Miller. The read option was going nowhere as he was brought down this time for four-yard loss by Wheeler. You can see right here, man, just crushed on the outside right there, man, for that play could even develop right here. Nice Makes hit you by the man. man. Did you see the block that was supposed to be laid yeah. on Wheeler? He just absolutely <laughs> missed it. Right. Wheeler got the wheels, man. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly not happy there on the sideline for Oklahoma. And the first down plays for Oklahoma has definitely looked rough so far in this game. 
But they have always had themselves a pretty solid, good second down play so far throughout this drive. Pistol formation they'll come out with. Tyler Miller, read option again. And look at this spin move. Man, what a nasty move. He gets to the 47-yard line in territory of Texas. That's going to be a gain of six to make a third and eight. I mean, some of that juice that these quarterbacks are drinking right now, man. man. A lot of power in these guys, spin moves going on. A lot of agility going on tonight. I'll tell you one thing, these are two very athletic quarterbacks. Tyler Miller, like I said, they like to get him on the ground going. He's had a couple games. He's rushed for over 100 yards. It was a throw, and man, you can't get mad at Miller there for that. It was a good throw. A tight end, it's a generic prospect there. Uh, Julius Kidd just could not hold on to it. Yeah, lock had him on lock right there, man. Comes in with the deflection right here. Nice hit right there to stop that ball. Great defense. I'm kind of surprised, man. Julian Kidd, Julius Kidd's made some spectacular grabs so far throughout this series. And right there, he gets his first target, and he drops it. I mean, even though he had a little bit of contact, he's known for making those catches in traffic. Here goes the punt. This one goes out of bounds at the 32, so a horrible punt right there for OU. And Texas will come out with some pretty good significant uh, field position. Yeah, let's see if they decide to go back to Ellinger, man. You noticed he was 90% of the run game uh, you know, in the last drive here and came up with three fumbles at the end of the day, man. Only was able to get three points out of the situation. Let's see if Texas will decide to uh, get out of that read option, man, do something else. I'll tell you one thing, if I'm Oklahoma, you force another fumble, you better recover. I mean, that's three fumbles that they did not recover to start this game. So they're definitely going to be making sure they keep their eyes on that football. First and 10, they're going to spread out the field here with trips to the right side, but they run the football and a good stand-up and a good tackle made there by White as he drops him at the 34 for just a gain of two yards. Texas with an opportunity to go up by two possessions. They're going to need a touchdown here. Field goal will only make it 6-0, to zero, which OU can easily come back from. Let's see how they'll start things off after that two-yard gain. They'll go right back on the ground and tries to juke to get past the defender. It's a solid tackle. That's what you love to see is a defender wrapping up and securing a tackle like that. Because usually those big hitters, they tend to whiff and give up extra yards. Yeah, he's going to continue to get that kind of yardage. And they had a four wide right there. Plenty of gap room right there. Great blocking by the old line to pick up the yardage. Third and three stack formation out to his left. One receiver out to his right. And they'll keep Struger in the block, and man, he just runs through all the traffic, and he gets the first down. Sam Ellinger with an extraordinary scramble for a first down. What a play. Oh, uh, man, a little bit of showboating at the end of the play right here, man. He's definitely feeling it right now, and he's making these Sooners pay right now on the ground right here, man. They're dropping back in that deep coverage. He says, hey, I'm going to use my legs tonight, man. I don't think they were expecting this out of Sam. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's kind of crazy to say that, but he hasn't been the exact Sam that you see in real life where they actually do run the football this much. But, uh, man, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be expecting that either. I mean, right now he's really been putting this game pretty much on his back despite the three fumbles to start the game. That's another nice play right there by him on the ground. I want to give a shout-out to James Moose coming through, Roberto Nino in the building. He goes to throw over the middle, completion, spins off the tackle, and he'll be brought down at the 46. Uh, Nina Dino, what's going on, my man? <laughs> Shout out to James Moose as well, man. Duvernay there on that reception, picked up six yards on the first down, the second and four. And we still got over two and a half, well, less than two and a half minutes now left here in this first quarter. It's been kind of interesting. Not a lot of points yet put up, but good start so far for Texas. Come out here in the shotgun. Here we go with some read option again. And he is just killing him. And Charlie, look at that. Fumble. That's going to count. There goes Jacob Kane. Knocks it right out of him. He just separates him from the football. Four fumbles in this game. Man, man Kane just absolutely knocked his membrane out right there on the <laughs> sideline. What a hit that was. Sam Ellen just, he's just rolling around, man, like a duck. Look at this, man. And whew, that is caught Damn. cleaned right there, man. This may have to be the most fumbles. Well, the, I know for a fact this is the most fumbles to uh, to start any game in the first quarter. Oh, uh, and I think you. this may be the most fumbles in this series so far within the game. <laughs> it's only the first quarter. That is just yeah. ridiculous. Wow. They go running the football and a good explosive That's run. Jukes and gets the first down at the 19. They're now in the red zone. Texas moving the chains. Hey man, shout out to the chat, man. As soon as you guys, every time you guys see a juke tonight, man, I need you to put a <laughs> in the chat right now, man. For real, man. With that love, just love seeing the juke move and how effective it is, man. 
Boy, I can't wait till we get to the RFL season. Yeah, that's a, a perfectly executed juke there by Watson. We gave Jacob Kane praise on the last play, and right there he gets put on a bloopers uh, tape with that juke move. And, I mean, unfortunately, he gives up the first down, but still haven't given up the touchdown yet. Let's see if this Sooners defense can hold. Ellinger is going to look to throw, and here he goes on the drag route, and that's going to be his first incomplete pass of the day out of three. Oh, man, just totally overshot that one right there, man. Wide open that was even was. Yeah, definitely was there. I mean, drag routes, typically, if you got good coverage, not going to get you too many yards, but he looked like he had a, enough uh, field to work with to try to make something happen, get those extra yards, and unfortunately missed that pass. So here goes Ellinger again. Oh, on the outside. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> Man, that, that was a great ball, and he had it. Just couldn't hang on. Oh man, that is terrible, man. They had a four. They had four. They had a whole bunch of linemen down on the on the line on the uh, line. Then they had four defenders all the way to the right, one on one on the outside right there, man. He was wide open. No, don't know why he didn't catch that one. Yeah, no excuse for that one. That was a great pass by Ellinger. He throws again that time. Not a good pass. And this is this got to be fourth time that these guys could have came over with a turnover. And, you know, they drop. Not to mention, these guys, I mean, wow. we, we literally just turned up the interceptions. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason for this to be dropped here. It's thrown right there to Motley. Well, not really. He goes for a swat. That's probably why it didn't get intercepted. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that should have been picked off. It should have went and had a better reaction than that. Oh, man, and defense comes up for as soon as again right here, man. We're going to have to settle for a field goal for Texas right here, man. Great defense. And this will keep it a one-possession game. I'm going to give a shout-out to Tavion Hall in the chat. Here goes the field goal attempt, the second of the day, and it is good. Two for uh, two, six to zero. Oh, uh, Tim Young Hall in the chat, huh? Okay, what's going on? That's paid gang. Oh, I didn't know that was paid gang, man. <laughs> Tim Young Hall said, hey, man, that's what those paid me, man. <laughs> Definitely a lot of hype around this kid joining the RFL. 94 overall running back, playing now for the Austin Desperados. How would that change the team? We'll find out. It's January 2nd, man, when the season starts. A lot of big moves, man. Even Rob himself, man, landing big in free agency. Oh, man. And the Cougars <laughs> team's looking... Spectacular, man. We definitely got to have a podcast to discuss what's been going on. Yeah, I told the boys we had an early Christmas, man, so we got hard work to do in December. <laughs> That's for sure. Here goes the kickoff as I'll get it to Oklahoma to get started for their offense for the second time today. And special teams unit will have it out at the 26. Man, and what about Texas, man? Just getting it done on, you know, and despite, despite, despite the four fumbles, man, they still come out with two field goals here and don't seem to, it doesn't really seem to be affecting the team right now as they're still getting successful drives because they are technically putting up points but man I wonder if these fumbles are going to start to uh, rattle Sam Ellinger as we get later into the stages of the game it might it might but I can say right now based off of how he's playing it looks like it hasn't just yet because mm -hmm. I mean the, the, the reason why it most likely hasn't at this point is because he hasn't lost any of them but if he does at some point throughout this game maybe that will rattle him but he's still running the football hard right now here goes a nice cutback by Brooks. Hey. Trying to set up the juke. Didn't work there, but a good tackle and definitely worthy of an aid. And we got Ager, Mills, and Omenahu on the D-line. Tootley, Marshall, Wheeler, and Johnson are going to make up the linebacker core for the Longhorns. And we have Boyd Stearns, Jones, and Davis making up the DBs. And my boy Bastige is in the chat right now. Go Cougars. <laughs> yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to Ryder Live. We got also Keegan Stewart in the building as well. And I uh, see somebody asked if there's going to be bowl games. Yep, there will be bowl games, but only for teams who win six games at the very least. And so right now, Oklahoma's teetering on being eliminated from being able to play in a bowl game. They got five losses right now. And so another loss will mean that they cannot afford to lose a single game after this. But there, there's a lot of time left in this game they can come out pull out this victory and still have a chance yeah, facing the third and five right here man they got to convert and this down big third down here let's see what tyler miller will do the four receivers spread out wide moves throws and a nice catch on the sideline that's going to be a first down as he finds morris yeah 
Uh, Morris has made a few catches tonight, or a couple of us should say. There's a second for 25 yards right there. Great pass, great catch on the sideline. Keeps the speed and bounce. Nice. Nice delivery right there on that out route. He had great separation, too, away from the defensive back. You could see it. And, you know, just goes up, gets that football. That's what you like to see out of your receiver. Yep. Here we go. Just a touchdown away from taking the lead for the first time today. They're going to have to still travel pretty lengthy ways. Play action. Tyler Miller quickly fires across the middle, and he's got C.D. Lamb at the 45. Oh man, loving the rhythm right here, and that's going to be the end of the quarter, man. If you have not yet, check us out at www.relocationfootballleague.com, man. You can also check us out on Instagram at Relocation Football League or on Twitter at RFL underscore sim underscore league, man, and get connected with all the latest news and the coaches. Man, a lot of things going on in the RFL, man. I hope you guys are staying tuned. Yeah, definitely a lot, especially free agency. Free agency is still going on right now. Still a lot of additions. You can see a lot of the signings on our social media, especially on Instagram and Twitter. So make sure you check that out to learn more. Here goes read option is not going to be used at all. I don't even I don't even know if that play even works in Madden 20. I have not seen the guy the guy pitch the ball yet in this situation. Yeah, he tried it right there, man. Tried to pull his or, or channel his inner Sam Ellinger right there, man, and runs right into a brick wall man <laughs> yeah nowhere to go at all but back to the line of scrimmage so that'll set up now a second and ten and they'll run the football here goes brooks and a hard run as he gets to the 41 and brooks is now going to uh, make it a third and six after a four yard game the cougar stewart uh, cougar yeah coogan keegan stewart <laughs> getting confused with the cougars Saying Cougar's gonna take it all this year. Looks like you got a fan, man. Hey. <laughs> third and six. Here goes Tyler Miller. Another big third down. Can he convert? Throws over the middle. There goes a first down. He's still turning out some yards. Keeps those legs moving. Gets to the 27 yard line. And that is gonna be a first down out to tease for a 14 yard game. Yeah, man. Really liking how uh, Tyler Miller is firing this ball right now, man. Look at that, man. This is a nice, accurate pass right there to his wide receiver. Great play. Yeah, an excellent play for sure right there. And Texas starting to lean on the ropes a little bit here on this drive. A touchdown will give up their lead. And it makes you, you know, kind of get upset on the offensive side of the ball because I mean, you, you had an opportunity to score both times and instead you had to settle for a field goal. So this is going to definitely hurt the momentum a little oh, bit. Nice fake. Texas, and look at this. Man, that was a great what fake right that? there. Never seen that. That was a double, that was a double fake, I guess, option, and the guy kept it. I don't know what happened, but that was beautiful. Bill, what is that? <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to get back into the to the uh the the, the, the room tonight, man. <laughs> Try to find that play. Shotgun here as he waits to snap. Got his receivers in tight to the line, and here goes a throw over the middle again, and he'll be taken down at the 20. It's a good gain of five yards. It's third and three now. As he finds Willis, it's a big down again here for the Sooners. Yeah, you got to be cool here, man. It's 33. You're at the 20 yard line. Be cool, man. Run a play that you know what works in practice. Get the first down. Live to see another one. Pistol formation's got three guys in the backfield with him, but he'll motion one to the right. That's Julius Kidd, who will now be in the slot. Look out for him. They're going to hand it off. Kendall Brooks cannot get the first down. Good job there by the Longhorns defense. Yeah, that's one of those plays where you got to say much to do about nothing, man. All this motioning around going on, waiting and everything, and they only pick up two yards on the play and have to settle for a field goal. Yeah, I would have liked to see Kendall Brooks probably try to bounce that one a little bit more towards the left middle side of the field. And it uh, looks like he just tried to grind it out, thought he was going to be able to get those yards, and uh, just ran out of space, ran out of time, got tackled. Four from one, now they have to bring out the field, field goal unit. And so the kick is up and it is good. So we'll cut the deficit in half. The score here, 63. Pretty odd score we got here, Rob. Yeah, man. You know, somebody, uh, Sultan just said this is a hard-hitting game. Definitely a defensive uh, struggle right now, man. And I'm just, I, I mean, I, you know how it is, man. I know it always turns up in the second half. I just, I can't wait to see it. Man. <laughs> the same, man. It could turn up here. I mean, we've seen, we're seeing some pretty good offenses. We're seeing some good first downs. We're seeing some good plays. You know, the question is, who's going to finish their drive? 
who's going to be that team who's going to be able to go above and beyond to be able to do that and who wants it more and I mean right now we're seeing the defenses coming up big and getting the stops but at some point one of these offenses could be the determining factor of who wins this game yeah with all these fumbles man the Longhorns uh, must have put the long and longevity man because they're still hanging around here <laughs> <laughs> look at this return on first second thought he's about to explode out of that we've seen a kick return like that before already in this series thought we we're going to see another one Jamison though gets it out to the 31 so a great return and Sam Ellinger Coming out onto the field with his target here, to Michael Rowland. Man, really loving these all-white unis right here, man. The horns looking pretty spiffy tonight, man. Yeah, that they are, man. Ain't nothing better than the all-whites to come out all when whites. you're in a weight team. <laughs> yes, sir. And when they're talking things over with his team, and he's waiting to try to extend this lead by hopefully more than three points this time. First down and 10 at the 31 yard line. Here goes Ellinger. He got three receivers out wide. He'll look to throw a four man rush. Time is expiring though. Quickly gets it out to Reggie Streeter and he goes down at the 34. A three yard gain right there. Brings up a second and seven. What do you think they do here on this next play? Oh man, not even sure here. Second and seven. I mean, you know, you can try to run it right here, pick up a few yards, make it easier to pass on third down. Looks like they're in the I formation right now. And that they are, and they will run it. So good read on what they may call here. But yeah, like you said, shut down. Bledsoe in the backfield with this tackle. Second tackle for loss so far on the day. Third and nine. Yeah, and if we're, if we're talking about a mind game. I mean, football is like chess, man. You know, offensive coordinators against defensive coordinators right here. And one thing that's uh not one thing that's obvious is that when you're in an I formation, for the most part, it's gonna be a run. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, they just shut that down automatically, man. We weren't fooling anyone. Third down and nine here for the Longhorns. Streeter out by himself to the right side. He's going to throw into the flats. I really don't like that play call. That was just too simple. Well away from the first down. Good read there by Dwayne Kelly. And that brings up fourth down quickly. Yeah, Watson caught that ball, man. It just kind of froze for a moment. Didn't know what to do right here. You saw Kelly. Approaching fast, man. Look like a deer in the headlights right there. And I think he was the last person expecting to get the football because he's thinking like, hey, this is a third and long. Why am I getting the football this quick? And that ends up being a tackle for loss. And a quick three and out here for the Sooners. And so the Longhorns get the punt off. And it's going to be fielded by C.D. Lamb, and he is bulldozed backwards and down at the 23-yard line. Try to run through two defenders right there, man. They said, nope and nope. <laughs> that's, when we, that's when we shut down on them like two doors. And we just straight through them backwards. Guess they felt disrespected that he even tried that. <laughs> Got a wonderful joke that I might use uh, at some point in this uh, stream, man. I think the I think the Discord guys would appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear it, man. Can't wait till you spring it on us. But here we go, first and ten at the 23-yard line, pistol formation, and hand it off to the fullback, and he kind of gets a couple of yards, gets to the 26, picks up three yards, and it's second down. Yeah, great blocking right there to pick up the few yards on the play, man. And, Longhorns trying to pump themselves up right now, man. We don't want to get too uh, too lenient right now on Oklahoma, man. I definitely don't want to do that touchdown away from taking the lead here. So they got to be careful. There's a run play. Brooks able to get the first down. Nice little elusive juke, but he doesn't break the tackle, but gets that first down to the 35. An absolute great run there, man. He's got six runs, 21 yards, averaging 3.5 so far. Great run right here, great elusiveness right here through the hole. Look at that, so swift. Tried to cut it to the outside right there, man. Gets tackled. And that's what you want to see. You want to see guys just running through the holes and just making good plays, getting the yards needed for the offense. New set of downs here for Oklahoma. And there goes a read option shut down again. Oh man, I saw him. I saw him down there. That's Johnson, man. I saw him tucked down there. 
ready to blitz, man. He comes through so quick, so fast, so clean right there. Boy, he didn't even get one yard. He didn't even get one yard before he was shut, he was shut down right there, man, off the backfield. And that was an excellent play right there. I see Cody Hill asking, he says, are the bowl games, are there bowl games or FC? Yeah, it's going to be bowl games. Definitely not going to make a playoff system with the college teams. Uh, it, will, it will do exactly as college football does in real life. Have bowl games and then also have, uh, you know, uh, playoffs with the final four teams or with the top four teams. Well, there goes a completion out to Julius Kidd. He gets only three yards, and it's like that third and eight here for Oklahoma. Another hit, another nice hit right there to on a stop right there for the Longhorns. Okay, ready. Big third down. Looks like Texas going to send some pressure with their safety. And they will. Time is closing, and here goes a throw. Oh, and a nice catch. catch for a first down. Man, what a catch that was right there, man. I saw the pressure coming. Wasn't sure if Miller was going to be able to get that ball off, man. Finds his progression right there. Finds Morris. And Lock the third, man, is getting a workout right now for Morris, man. <laughs> yeah, he's been making some big catches for, for Oklahoma so far. And you can see, I mean, he's, he's, that's his third catch of the day. Lock playing good defense, trying to lock down, but yeah. great catch right there by Morris, getting more yards and moving the chains. Poor guy has to have that name locked, man. The pressure. <laughs> First and ten. Here goes a slow handoff for a second. It looked like it was going to be productive. But what a play made there by William Marshall. That's an RFL generic prospect just coming down the field, making a solid tackle. And it's going to bring up a second and 11. Yeah, and I kind of feel like Tyler kind of held on to that ball a little bit too long, man. Didn't allow him to... I know he's trying to get the play fake there, man, but it didn't allow him to uh, break, break the corner fast enough on that one. Yeah. Second down and 11. Defense back spread up, or backed off from the uh, receivers here. And there he goes, looking to throw over the middle, and a good tackle once again by Marshall, as he'll hold him just two yards short as he finds his favorite target so far of the day is Morris making his fourth grab for 44 yards. Mini Bomber is asking about the uh, live content update. Yeah, uh, it's in your Frostbite folder. Delete the whole folder, man. Um, I'm not sure if it's still doing it. I'm not sure, man. Yeah, it's going to be a long process for us to explain while commentating this game. Hopefully somebody goes about it in the chat. Oh, look at this. An interception. <laughs> and look who it is. William Marshall. What a play. Is that the DT? Oh, that's a linebacker. Yeah, that's the linebacker. Same the linebacker. On the last two plays that oh, has been man. making some some good tackles. There he is coming up with a pick. Nice, man. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah, just an ill-advised throw right there by Tiller. I said Tiller. By Tyler Miller. Mixing yeah. both his first and his last name yeah. there. But look at this. Yeah, Getting yeah. down and low to grab this one. Looking like a receiver out there. Oh, man. I, hey, I forgot to say Snatchies. Let me get Snatchies Nation in the chat right now. Cody Hill set it off for the trend. Yes, sir. We like those shirts made, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I say the chat, the chat beat you to it. You know, they, they're all in it. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's been a low-scoring first half so far. Three to six, but a lot of action. Seen a lot of fumbles, a lot of turnovers. And uh, we just got one from Texas. Let's see if they can capitalize at their own 42-yard line. They'll come out here in a pistol formation. Here goes a handoff. Breaks the tackle and goes forward for a nice gain of four. Uh, real quick, Smitty, uh, mini bomber, man. What you should do is you should turn off Origin, man. When you uh, when you delete that live content folder, just go to Origin and go offline with it, man. Yeah. That's why I'm glad I got Rob up here. He definitely helped me out with those situations. <laughs> uh, uh, second yeah, man. down and six. Play action. Good protection, and here he goes, taking oh, off. He's been doing all day. They try to strip him again, and why not, man? He's fumbled why four not? times, but he holds on to the football. That's a first down for Texas. Hey, man, like me and my friends used to say when I was a kid, why not? Why not? I mean, look at this right here, man. They're in a the heavy tank formation right here. Fakes the pass, rolls outside. Boy, what a place. Good job there by Bledsoe, though. The defensive lineman chasing him down and trying to get that, uh, that fifth fumble forced of the day, but... You know, didn't have it happen, but good job of holding him to less yards than he would have got. 
Mellinger going to look to pass. Throws. There goes a completion, but he comes back a little bit too far. I think he loses a yard here on this one, and he does. Second down and 11 now here for the Longhorns. Almost, almost halftime right now, man. Wow. Yeah, it's been a, a lot of Rolling. plays. Just yeah. hasn't been a lot of finishes just quite yet. That's all it is. I mean, seen a lot of nice plays, a lot of good things happening. The turnover's definitely been an issue for both teams. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, yeah, 6-3 to three is the score. And just like that, man, the first half is definitely, like you said, going by pretty fast. We're under two minutes left. Oklahoma looking to try to get this stop. Texas with a second 11. What will they do? We'll see. Can they get a touchdown before the end of this first half here? And there he goes. Taking off. Doing too much with the spin. He should have just kept going to the outside. Gallimore gets there to him. And that's going to be another loss of some yards. Loses two. Third and 13. Yeah, that's not a spinner Rooney. That's a spinner Oofy. <laughs> he just ran right into it. <laughs> <laughs> DT right there, man. Spin a oof. Definitely, yeah, spin a oof. <laughs> definitely like that name for that because that was definitely a goofy move. So you guess you got to right. add both. But right. geez, <laughs> definitely was not the move right there to pull off. I'm telling you, man. It was good, Jaden. Appreciate you coming to the live stream. The timeout's going to be called here by Texas. The first timeout of the day in Red River Rivalry game, which usually is a high-scoring game, man, is... Six to three right now, going into almost the halftime. Here they go, a minute and one second left. They drop back, looking to pass. Scrambles to the outside. And he is hit hard. And he's got to know, man. He can't keep taking these hits. He's got 88 yards. Yeah, it looks good. Four fumbles, though. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he don't want a fifth. So he's got to be careful now running out here and stop taking contact like this. Yeah, and every time that these Sooners get a stop right here, that's giving them more momentum right now, man. You know? Got to try yeah. to find a way to win. Yeah, yeah, he should have passed that ball right there, man, at all costs. I agree. Yeah, definitely should have threw that one. He yeah. should have known for sure that he was not about to get 13 full yards yes, exactly. on Oklahoma running that football. <laughs> and so now here they are putting it away, killing time. Looks like this first half is going to end as it is with a total of nine points in this game. Good punt. Ends him at the eight. Shout out to uh, Cody Hill for that information, man. Appreciate that, man. Which was about the monetization? No, he was talking about the uh, submitted player. A guy was asking how does he get into the Discord, and Cody was telling him that uh, once he submits a player, uh, January oh. 1st, he should have access. All right, cool. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I always like somebody when they answer the questions for us in the chat, man, because yeah. sometimes I'm busy here. With the game with 15 seconds left in this first half. They're going to run the football here with Kendall Brooks. He gets to the 15. And that should be the last play of this first half, man. Oklahoma, they're losing, but only by three points. And Texas only has six. So a very low scoring first half. But hopefully, as we've seen in many games, second half will be what's going to be the explosion as this game continues and ends. And you are live at the Relocation Football League. Check out the website, man, for all the latest happenings and events and everything going on. Check us out on Instagram and also on Twitter, man. You can just search Re Relocation uh, Football League, and you should be able to run right into all the teams and uh, follow the commission on Twitter at RFL underscore Sim underscore League. As he always puts out new trends and everything that's going on inside of the RFL, man. We are very, very pumped as the season is going to start January 1st. You can submit your um, application, and then I believe the official games start January 2nd, man. But we got a lot of football left here in the college series here. You guys may have seen the top 25 uh, dropped earlier on the Instagram. Make sure you follow the pages so you can get those each and every week, man. And just salute to everybody who came out tonight, man. Oh, one more thing, man. Go get fresh, man. Sector6apparel.com slash collection slash RFL. Get geared up, man. You don't want to be not geared up when we start the official league next year in January, man. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, it's definitely been a good amount of guys out there that showed us and posted up their, you know, their their uh, gear that they've got. We're waiting to get a little bit more, but we definitely got a good amount of pictures going to be posting up you guys' uh, images soon. Uh, but man, go ahead, make sure you get that gear. The good, the gear is really good quality. That's what I can tell you that. Yeah, it could be slacky. <laughs> <laughs> So Oklahoma starts out the second half with possession of the football. Here at the 28-yard line, Tyler Miller in that first half was, for the most part, accurate, but he had an interception. 
He was 9 for 12 for only 91 yards passing. I expect both of these teams to do better throwing the football. That seems to be the issue. Yeah, I think the biggest issue for the Longhorns has been Sam Ellinger holding on to the football. And, uh, man, because of it, uh, you know, they only got six points off the situation. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And Tyler Miller, he's got to be able to throw the football a lot more effectively himself. Mm -hmm. 91 yards, definitely not acceptable. Here he goes, looking to pass those, nice. and he takes the contact. So he land at the juke move. Gets almost to midfield at the 49, and that's how you start out an offensive possession right there. Oh, man, sweet two moves right there. What about that pass, man? Had a defender in his face and still throws with accuracy right there, man. That throw under pressure must be kind of high for this guy. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, man, it looked like the case, man. I mean, he definitely had all the pressure he could possibly get right there in his face. He took a shot, and he still delivered an on-target pass out there to CeeDee Lamb in stride so that was a perfect throw and that's that definitely gives you some pluses there on some draft boards there goes a throw and cd lamb i don't know what he did right there just started slowing up but that's one thing i think ea's definitely got a patch i've seen that quite a few times on uh since the update everything else to be honest I'm, i've been great uh you know, happy with, but mm -hmm. it seems like some guys are trotting and they should be running in some situations like that. Yeah, he definitely looked gassed right there, man. I was not exactly sure what that is right there, man. But hope they definitely fix that. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I've, I've noticed it on usually the screens or outside runs, and uh, you know, those are definitely areas where you cannot trot because you need to use whatever speed you got to try to get what you can on those plays. But here they go, some read option, and look at this Whoa. again. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's going to be a uh, loss on the play. And, uh, yeah, they've got to fix this. Man. I don't have to say, though, a little minor area. But, I mean, it is big. Definitely going to be something big if that happens in the RFL. Don't want to see that. But uh, third and 12 at the 47-yard line. Pretty much two wasted plays there. Not on the front of Oklahoma, but here they go looking to try to make something happen. Tyler Miller scrambles. No juke move there. Guess he didn't want to try to get crafty to try to move the chains. There goes William Marshall again, making a clutch tackle. He's got an interception on the day, and he also gets to stop here on the Sooners. I think I've seen the community talk about a, uh, a stamina glitch, man. We may have to look into that and see if maybe that's what's affecting them on that play right there. That might be. That definitely yeah. might be the case. I think I've seen some things on that as well. I'm gonna bring out the punting unit. And here goes the punt. And it goes out of bounds at the 10, so a good punt right there by Cyber. Man, what a leg this kid's got on him, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he punted a bad one earlier at the 32 yard line, it was about like a 20 yard <laughs> punt, but I mean, he definitely redeemed himself right there yeah. with that one. Now that's gonna put Texas in. Long situation to have to drive for a touchdown. I, mean, I still can't. I'm still kind of surprised the game is six to three right now. Mm -hmm. But it, you've been seeing some pretty good football. It's just yeah. you know the scrambling of the quarterback. I think this the type of quarterback has been kind of what's been hindering both of these teams. Yeah, definitely uh, the play calling, man. I think once we get deeper to the playbook, man, we're gonna start to see these teams be core, be, be, you know, uh, uh, convert, convert some more plays and make it a little bit of a high scoring affair. And there he goes looking at it, just doesn't even allow anything to oh. develop, but he does get the first down out to the 22, and he's exactly at 100 yards rushing and 10 carries. <laughs> it's been a great day, man. 10 carries, 100 yards for number 11. Wow. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, he did not even allow anything to develop. He had his mind made up from the get-go that he was not going to throw this right. football. And like you said, this is... Hey, that's a good play right here. You get the first down. This is kind of what's killing Texas right now. Yep. You know why they have these six points instead of, you know, maybe 14 or anything higher. Mm -hmm. Let's go. 60 out, Law. Under center here, Sam Ellinger. Trying to get the defense to jump off sides with a hard count. But now he'll motion. He's tight end Brewer, and here goes a handoff, and Oklahoma is on that immediately. That just gets stopped right in his tracks, a two-yard loss. They tried to run uh, Watson and Kelly in there on the tackle. Oh, man, just a great stop right there, man. Tried to line up in the power. 
formation right there. Brought the tight end. To throw a block right here, man. And Watson still is going to be stopped by Metcalf. Metcalf just got back there so fast, man. Yeah, man. And Kelly's guy just stood him up. But like you said, he, he ran right through there quickly and helped out on that tackle. Good assist tackle there by those two. There they go, the handoff, and you want to see him try to put on the move. You know that you got this guy in the box one-on-one. -on -one. Got to hit a move at that point, but a good tackle by Jacob King. So we get back the two yards that they lost, and Texas already in a third and ten situation. They kind of don't like when they're in this situation because if he doesn't find nothing, I can already see Sam Ellinger probably going to try to take off with this one. Let's see. If he'll throw instead, he does, and there goes a catch for a first down. And guess what? That was the same guy who dropped it in the end zone earlier. And this time he hangs on for a nice 28-yard gain for the first down. That's your boy Eagles, man. I think last week you were saying you didn't like his uh, last name here. And, <laughs> hey, he's flying tonight, man. Nice catch right there. Yeah, he didn't fly on the first attempt, but he, he went <laughs> soaring on this one. And like I said, man, wish he had a better last name than that to represent. But uh I'll tell you one thing. Nice play right there for Texas, and they need to keep this momentum going. He had him beat right there, and he honestly probably didn't even have to go up and high point that football. Could have probably caught that in stride, but first and ten, a little bit of a low snap, and here goes Watson breaking a tackle, tries a juke, and man, just the pursuit of this defense has been great all night. Yeah, Watson uh, definitely struggling tonight, man. Only got 19 yards on the play. He's fighting. He's out there fighting and everything, man. Running with authority, but man, not, not, not really doing much for uh, Texas right now. I can see a majority of both sides on this play. Is the reason why this has been a low-scoring game and why they've been pretty much killing themselves with the play calling is because most of the running has been coming with from the quarterbacks. And then also, they're barely passing the football. Look at this huge sack. Big hit there by Tom Tinton. Now it's a third and 17. Hey, man, that's one of the big big blubber babies right there, man. He smelt the snacks, got in the background, and Sam Ellinger just goes definitely to the turf right here. Look at that big boy right there, man. It's a lot of men. Yeah, definitely a lot of men right there. Look, I'm taking it on the double team. Michael Thomas comes through, and he lays all this weight on him right there. Just drops right on that. I know that had to hurt. <laughs> oh, man. It's a big boy, man. Wow. Third and 17, man, and I um, really don't like this situation for Texas. Let's see if he'll throw it again this time. On the third and long. I really don't want to see him scramble. Here goes a shot down the field, and he tries him again. And the defense was prepared. They swat it down. He's two for three. No, he's one for three right now, so he's not soaring there. And that's going to bring a fourth down. Yeah, they out here treating this guy like Julio, man. <laughs> Just throw the yeah. ball up to him. I mean, I like the way he's jumping up there, high point yeah. in football, you know, but uh, sometimes yeah. you don't got to go up there and get it. You could just let yeah. that one fall right in the bread basket, take the hit, yeah. and it's a much easier uh, opportunity for you to catch it. Mm -hmm. And so Texas is stopped once again. And Oklahoma's got some blockers here. And the Lamb's going to be taken down at the 27. If I had to bet on the team tonight, man, I would probably bet on the Sooners. If these offenses are going to continue to struggle, it's going to rely on the defenses here. And this defense for the Sooners, man, they got some guys, some playmakers here, man. And they can get some interceptions in a hurry as well on defense. And so you don't want to be beat by the defense of the Sooners tonight. Yeah, I mean, these guys honestly should have five or more turnovers mm -hmm. in this game already. Four fumbles, which was recovered back by Texas. He got lucky with that, but um, and it's all really on their offense right now. Tyler Miller has got to be able to make some plays and find his receivers open. We see D. Lamb, Morris, these guys are balling right now. He's cut up the field to try to see what he could get them on the string along, but the defense they did a great job attacking, and they held up to just one yard. Yeah, definitely shut that down, man. I thought he was going to try to bend the corner there, man, and said cut it back in. I feel like a lot of these teams are trying to do a lot of outside running right now, and I think sometimes you just got to punch it right in their mouth, up the gut. And we haven't seen too much of that called at all by either of these teams, let alone running the football period. Look at this good defense. That's swatted by William. And William Marshall, man, he's been all over the field today. A third and nine, just like that for the Sooners. Yeah, you can tell Miller got a little excited on that play right there, man. Threw it a little bit too fast. Didn't, didn't allow the play to develop. 
Third down and nine. Here goes Miller. This one go, and man, that hook route has been his bread and butter right there. That's Morris again with that first down working on lock. Yeah, I need to work him a little bit more, man. He's definitely killing it right now on those uh, curls and under routes he's been getting right there, man. Great catch again. You can see right there, Locke again. I know he's got to be frustrated. He's get, this is one route that he's got to look out for at this point. He knows the hook he's, he's been getting killed on all day. And he might he might try to jump one of those at some point. Maybe you can hit a little hook and go. Um, I, I mean, of course, we know Madden probably at the, at the level of that yet. But here we are, first and 10 at the 40. See the Lamb in motion play action. Quick throw over the middle and a drop. That time lock, locks up. As Morris could not hang on to that one. Oh, man, Locke's got to be excited about that one right there, man. That was a great defensive play because that looked like it was going to be a conversion for the most part. Get your hand in there, man. Stops the play. Man, you want to see him catch that football. That was a great pass by Tyler Miller. He's had a couple of good passes, but his receivers just dropped the football and just have not been able to hang on. Here goes Miller throwing, and there goes that infamous hook route caught by C.D. Lamb. And look, it's on Locke again, but Locke does hold him inches short. Oh my God, they're just totally picking on Locke right now, man. They see the mismatch. This time they're going to use C.D. Lamb right here. Just look at Locke, man. He's just sliding off these guys. He's, he's, he's two, three steps behind these wide receivers right here. Man. That was a good route, man, because he, he pretty much had him trailing. And then he was able to break back while he was trailing. Usually you don't want to trail too much on those hook routes, but if you break really good on that hook and right. the guy was underneath you goes by you, that's a good round. Mm -hmm. 30 inches, though. Let's see what they'll do. Will they run? Will they pass? A run, and he gets the first down for a second. He's getting a little bit scared. He thought he was going to juke sideways and be short, but he does get the first down. Oh, they said he didn't get the first down. Bro, that is awful oh, spotting on the spot floor. Right he clearly there. got the first yeah. down. Clearly. <laughs> awful, man. What is going on here? This is another area that Matt needs to fix. I mean, that is, and they're going to say terrible. a fourth and one? And they're oh. probably not even going to review this. That was awful. Oh, oh cool. my God. They really let that stand. Wow. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that, that just killed the whole drive. And just, that should not happen in this game. EA's got a couple things still left to fix, that's for sure. And, uh, Spotting of the football is definitely one of them. I can tell you one thing, Madden 19, we didn't have no problems like this. You know, uh, <laughs> oh, Madden 20, I've seen this since the game released. They need to fix the spotting yeah. of the football. Yeah, I've definitely been seeing that right there, man. That's terrible. Seen it multiple times within this game, and right there, that's going to just kill Oklahoma for sure. Mm -hmm. All the momentum they had going on, his whole body crossed the line. Yeah. And they, and they, the spotting just awful. First and ten here though for Texas. They'll run the football. Nice little cut in. Look at the move. Spinning around and gets hit forward to the 26. He's dizzy getting up with a good run of four yards. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's running around like the Tasmanian double right there, man. Picked up four he just yards knew he was going to bust out every move in his <laughs> arsenal on that carry. I'm ready. Second and six, though. And three minutes left in this third quarter play action. And wow. Terrible throw right there by Sam Ellinger. I mean, he's only thrown the football 11 times here tonight. I mean, these guys, this play calling, I have to say, for both teams been awful. Yeah, definitely, man. They've definitely been run heavy with the quarterback, that is. And, uh, definitely just looking. Not, not, not looking good right now, man. Third and six. Sam Ellinger, that's one go, and that's going to be dropped. Yeah. Wow. Looks like he was going to hold on to it right there, man. Rolling on to have good hands. Just gets hit right there, man. Ball comes loose. I think that was Norwood on the contact. Yeah. And, and that's that's tough, man. Like you said, we've seen him make a lot of big catches. There's a lot of drops going on from a lot of big name guys who usually make those catches in traffic but maybe you just got to give a credit to the defensive backs delivering the good hits and timing the hit perfectly to force the incompletion and here goes the punt 
Fair catch called there by Lamb, and the offense will get back out onto the field after the terrible call the last time at 32. So we got a low scoring affair, man. 6 to 3. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah. let's pray for the fourth quarter, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it hasn't necessarily all the way been boring. I mean, the yeah, fact yeah. that they haven't scored is, of course, annoying. But I can say one thing. Uh, the play calling has definitely been what's been terrible throughout this whole game for both teams. Uh, the spotting and, and things of Madden has, has killed them as well. And so it's just one of those games where we have seen some pretty big plays and do hope to see more here as this game continues and there goes Tyler Miller goes down at the 36 yard line he gets four yards second and six hopefully this will be the drive where they get points shout out to my uh, high school seniors and juniors who are thinking about college man check out ou.edu man I'm not going to go through the whole spill about everything this school has going on tonight but they do have a initiative program that's going on called the diversity and inclusion program and it says we must come together across all races and beliefs and identities we can only be great if we are diverse and inclusive to all. That was from the interim president, Joseph Haraz Jr. Really loved that quote when I saw that tonight, man. Check through the uh, school. A lot of programs and stuff, man. Um, they are actually trying to get their um, uh, diversity and inclusion program uh, off, the, off the ground. If you want to find out more about that, go to ou.edu and check it out, man. Yeah, definitely some good information. You always love to hear that, man. Good completion right here. Julius Kidd finally getting the catch as only a second of the night and he has 17 yards. But that is a huge catch for a first down. Yeah, and what I really liked about that quote, man, you know, it's talking about being great, man. And, you know, we strive to be great here in the RFL, but we also have a lot of diversity and inclusion here in the RFL, man. We have people from all over the country. Uh, we have people from all over the world and everything here, you know, sharing it with us. And, you know, uh, just, 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 just a great, great uh, comment I read there about the school, man. Check it out, ou.edu. Pistol formation, and here they go. Some read option never pitches it, but here he is down at the 41. And once again, terrible spot. He got to the 40 for sure. Yep. And uh, you know, th this is almost like almost on every play that the spotting is off. But uh, a good run, though, still of seven yards. Second down and three. Bunch formation out. Uh, attached to the line to the left side and oh, have wow. draw. Where draw? Look at this he still gets the first down he gets to the 30 weird looking play right there and it looks like he caught it while standing straight up it was a weird way in which he caught this ball and took off here goes another look at this one uh, you can't see it from the beginning but he literally just let the ball come straight to him yeah. and it just looked as if the ball was going to fly right by him but he caught it and took off and just burst through the middle for a huge first down yeah, it looked like a, a rag doll right there, man. <laughs> First and ten, and here they go. Another takeoff. Maybe these are the plays that they need to call for Tyler Miller right now. Instead of those read option plays where he's trying to go to the outside. That's supposed to have been killing him. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Still no points like that at all. No touchdowns in this game. And what usually is known to be a high scoring game between these two and the Red River Rival. Shout out to the chat, man. Go ahead and put your fours up as we enter into the final quarter of this battle right here, man. Yeah, I mean, I've seen uh, Sean Williams asking with this win, where will Texas be? I can't tell you where they'll be in the top 25. We'll have to wait till all games are played. But one thing I can tell you is they'll be five and four. There's a broken tackle by Kendall Brooks. He does not go nowhere. Just great pursuit to the football. He had four longhorns around him. Look at that, lock in on the tackle, making up somewhere other than coverage so far here today. Yeah, for those of you uh, who are in the chat right now, you should be able to see the top 25 rankings that dropped earlier today. And that shows you right there, man, the Florida Gators. Get the done in Swamp Country right now at 7-1, man. Yeah. And you can see uh, Harvey McGee saying Red River Rivey only in Oklahoma. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know. Only in on Madden. Only, right? in, uh, only on Madden, right. <laughs> Pistol we covered, formation. We covered that earlier. <laughs> yeah. First down run by Kendall Brooks gets to the 16-yard line. And, okay, Oklahoma starting to move the football. Can they finish, though, is the question. They just need 16 yards.
First down and 10. One safety high here as one rolls down. A little bit of a high snap. They go with the draw play. Great blocking. And here goes Kimball Brooks. All he needed was one more block. Just try to hit a two through. He's been busting those out all day. And that situation doesn't do anything. But that's a first and goal for the Sooners. Hey, that was a great run right there, man. And wow, some excitement just filled the room right here. Or should I should not say the stadium. Yeah. Nice run right there, man. A great run. And they are just two yards away from scoring the first touchdown in the game and taking the first lead that they've had so far all night. And there's a run, Kendall Brooks nice. to the end zone in untouched. And Oklahoma will take the lead. Yeah. Hey, I love it. I love it when they uh have when a halfback dive or an open or whatever works in that situation right there, man. Normally we see that get shut down. But uh, just a great run right here, great blocking right here. Brooks able to get into the end zone. Yeah. Hey, our first touchdown of the game, man. I got you gotta love it. Yeah, definitely gotta love it, man. It's been a defensive one for sure yes. between these two. And I can tell you right now, Oklahoma's got a Newfound momentum on their side. Brooks excited about that. Cameraman all over him. The team's all over. Well, Evans is all over him. Acting like he's his brother or something. They're uh, all over him there. But here goes the extra point to put them up by four points. And they are up. Ten to six. Nice. Drive. They finally put together a scoring drive, something that Texas has not done but will need to do here in this fourth and final quarter. Cody Hill says this is the most intense game of the season beside the Geno versus Marquise. He says, hey, it's been a pretty pretty intense game, man. <laughs> yeah. He's had his boring moments and has had his, up, his great moments, you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah. looks like the great moments are coming here late in the final, you know, ten and a half minutes. Johnson back looking to return this. The Jameson, excuse me, back looking to return this one. And set his offense up with some good field position. Maybe that's the touchdown that sparks these two from calling better plays and scoring more points. Okay, it's a stiff arm. And for a second, thought he was going to be able to reach to the outside. Still a good return, though. He's had a few so far tonight. And the offense will get started at the 31. Sam Ellinger coming out onto the field. Four fumbles in this one. Got to take care of this football within 10 and a half minutes just about. Down by four. See if he can lead the Longhorns to another victory here to get their fifth of the season. And if they get that, then they'll just need one of the three left for the remainder of the season to make sure that they are bowl eligible. Yeah, you got to hold on to this football here, man. First and 10, he goes a throw over the middle, and that's exactly what you don't do. And Sam, that's what's killing Sam Allinger. It's just the play calling earlier, all the running. You, you barely let him throw the football, something wide open like that. If he's not warmed up throwing earlier and he's been missing, that's what you're going to get. Yeah. And six of 13, he's under 50% throwing the football so far here. He drop back looking to pass, throws. He's got a completion. And that's going to make him now at 50% as he picks up six yards, third and four. This is a big down, man. Might be the biggest down of the game right here. If the game keeps going in the same pattern it's going. Could very well be here for the Longhorns and had a huge upset win against West Virginia last week. Man, they put up 30 points and now here this week, only six. Mellinger. Looking throws is a good catch there by Reggie Streeter, but he is not aware of where the sticks are. He falls short, and that's going to be a three and out by Oklahoma. Yeah, they definitely haven't been using Streeter effectively here, man. You know, I know they like to use him as a blocking back and everything. It's probably the reason why Sam Ellinger has so many rushing yards tonight, but try to lean on him right here, man, but just didn't call the right play to get him, to give him the chance to get a first down right there. Yeah, and so, I mean, he, he, Usually that's the route where you want your receiver for one getting up there to the sticks, but of course Madden doesn't give the CPU that logic to get to the sticks for that first down, but I mean, just a missed opportunity right there. Could punt. This one goes out at the 11-yard line, so solid punt right there to kind of help out this defense for Texas. Let's see if Oklahoma can still march down the field and probably put the final dagger in the Longhorns. Yeah, and uh, Oklahoma has a chance to take 
full control of this game right here. Right now they got a four-point lead. Let's see if they can get downfield, man, and get another, get another seven points in, man, and turn this thing up tonight for the home crowd. Yeah, Tyler Miller, man, this is going to be a huge win for him if he can get it done. Probably the biggest win that they've had so far this season. And he's going to set up the screen. Got the blocks. Oh, my goodness. It's just been a play. This has just been a game of a lot of questionable plays. That's all I can say. Man, he, he had the he had the ball. He looks like he had enough room to cut it upfield. Just ran right out of bounds, man. Momentum of the catch against. Yeah, he was just I don't know what he was doing there on that play, but he just he was just running too fast, I guess, for his own good. Well, here goes Tyler Miller trying to get to the outside, and there goes that little that little trotting thing again. Dillard gets there for the sack, and it's now third and sixteen. Man, great play right there by the defense. Tyler Miller, play action right here. Look at this. Had a man over the middle. Not sure why he didn't pass it. Wide open. I don't know oh. what's going on here. This quarterback. Man, I don't know if they man. just don't trust their own arm. I mean, that that was, like you said, wide open from the gate. He could have threw it to him as soon as he came off the line. Yeah. That's how open it was. Third and 16 now here for the Sooners. Read the option. It's a terrible, terrible play call once again. Yeah, terrible play call. I think they were going to end the drive anyway. They didn't want to probably pass it. But why even get Tyler Miller hit an extra time? He should have just ran that one with Brooks. Yeah, and regardless, you're still punting from the end zone right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been one of those games tonight, guys. That's right, one thing right. for sure. One of those games, because, I mean, last night's game was definitely entertaining between UCLA and uh, Washington. Uh, you know, the final score of that game was 20-10, to 10, maybe not high scoring like college-wise, but, I mean, definitely was a lot of plays there. And, I mean, this game, I think it's just been terrible, absolute terrible play calling, and the quarterback's just playing god-awful. Oh, almost There's blocked. One. Yeah, he almost Leaps over, gets that one, but no fair catch called here, and he is wrestled down to the ground at midfield. This is an opportunity for Texas to try to come back, score a touchdown, and win this game. Can they do it? One last week by three points, a touchdown could put them up by three, and they could come out of here with the victory. Yeah, they've had more than enough opportunities. Actually, both teams have, have had more than enough opportunities to get more points on the board, and now they've only got seven minutes and 25 seconds left. Time is winding down on Texas. They gotta do something here. That's for sure, man. And one thing I don't want to see them do the is run the football, run the football constantly here with Sam Ellinger. I mean, they, they haven't even ran the ball with Watson like that. And he's been a pretty much a bell cow for them. It was a throw over the middle of the oh, field. Yeah, the flat and yep, it could be pass interference. Pass yep, and that's exactly what it's gonna be. And that's a big play right there for Texas. Man, Pardon old Martley has to be shooting himself. Hitting himself in the helmet right there is, man, that's a terrible penalty right there in that situation. Yeah, I mean, I guess he didn't want the big big old yeah. tight end Reggie Streeter going up there and grabbing it. But either way, you give him the yards, you had a better chance trying to play the football fairly instead of giving up all those yards. And so now it's a first and 10 at the 24 here. Texas should still be able to come up with some points, but I doubt they're going to try a field goal. Here goes a shot to the end zone. Oh, Intercepted by Jacob Kane. <laughs> told you. What a play. I told you, man. Jacob Kane, man. I told you, look, if these offenses continue to struggle, the defense is going to step up, man. And, boy, look at Jacob Kane right here, man. I've seen him do that week in and week out, man. Turnover city, man. This guy comes up big and big plays right there. That's clutch right there, man. If they had a clutch trace still in this game, this guy would have clutch. <laughs> Definitely a reliable safety there and a safety blanket for your defense in the backfield, yeah. making sure – you know, nothing big is given up, and he comes up big there in the end zone with the interception, and Oklahoma gets the football at the 20. At this point, I feel like they should really run the football, but not with Tyler Miller. They need to give it to Brooks. He's the one that's got the rushing touchdown, the only touchdown of the game, and 
you know, they can come out with this victory. Just make sure they take care of the football and call the right plays. And that's what they're going to do here. They're going to run the football. That one got to fall on Brooks, though. He had the lane open there on that left side. Instead, pretty much ran right into the lineman. Uh, uh, Kane is a safety, correct, or a cornerback? He's a safety. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I put cornerback on the uh, poster today, guys. I apologize, Jacob, <laughs> and to the community. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. He's been playing like one. Great um, interception right there in the back of the end zone. One yard gain sets up this second and nine. Here goes Tyler Miller, and that's going to be broken up incomplete. Man, good defense right there, man. Tyler Miller tried to throw another needle right there, but unsuccessful, man. They got it started nine now, man. And they just need to calm down, man, you know, and try to move this ball here and burn off some of this clock. I'll tell you what, the passing game is just, for go, all day has been awful. I mean, mm -hmm. these guys, not, not a single quarterback has got even 200 yards passing right now. And, uh, you know, for one, not really been given the opportunity to throw, but there goes a good throw right there as he finds CeeDee Lamb, and that puts him at 161 throwing on the night. And all you got to do is run the ball right here, man. Let me toss play or something like that. Run some power right here, man. Burn this clock down as much often as you can. And stop Texas from having a chance to come back. Yeah, it's going to be a huge upset here for Oklahoma, that's for sure. Very good defensive game. Uh, a lot of, you know, errors, I have to say, in terms of EA's part there, with a couple of glitches that we've just found out. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you one thing, Oklahoma, they really need this win. This will put them at 4-5 and five on the season, and then they'll have to win at least two of the last three that they have of the season to try to get into a bowl game. Uh, here they go with a run to the outside, and good job by Texas to just get off of those blocks and make a solid tackle. My boy Bastille just said, Kane out here playing like you on the Cougars. I <laughs> uh, like that one right there, man. <laughs> and of course you would like it. <laughs> Anything to do with the Cougars. Oh, no man. Rob's all for it. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Second and 11 now. We're under six minutes and counting. Oklahoma's burning off a little bit of time here. There's a handoff, a wide open lane for Brooks, and he's doing too much juking. Yeah. That should have been a first down. Just keep running forward, yeah. you know, and, 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 and you're good. I'm glad EA brought the jukes back, though, so I'm definitely not going to get upset about that. But uh tell you one thing. Some guys keep their heads down instead of doing moves like what that. What in the world? Something. Wow. <laughs> they might run it here, though. They usually run out of this formation. They got two down linemen here. Monster formation, yep, and that's exactly what they do. Nice play call, to be honest. That's a first down, and they come out in that monster, man, and that definitely caught Texas by surprise. Only two linemen against three. You should have known that was coming. Now, imagine after getting snubbed by that other first down play, they said, hey, we're going to make sure we get the first down this time, man. And just lined up with that monster, like you said, man. Great, great out run right there. Yeah, I see uh, the Harvey asking how many bowl games. It depends on how many teams go six uh, win at least six games. If there's an odd number of teams that have won six games, then the next team that have won less than six games uh, that's up in the rankings will be able to compete against you know one of those teams. But it, it, I don't, I can't give a number depending on you know unless somebody wins at least six. So that's the way the bowl games going to work. Well, Oklahoma though right now, they're definitely killing some clock, moving the ball down the field. Time is uh, Texas is worth worst enemy right now. Definitely is, and right now their defense at this point has got to be tired. Uh, Miller throws while he moves, takes a hit, but he's able to stop the clock. Well, that's not a good thing for them, but at least he doesn't take the sack. Third and seven. Under four minutes left to go in this game. Julius Kidd attached to the line to the left side. Three receivers out wide to the right here for Tyler Miller. Throws, and there goes a first down. Miller right now bringing out which, uh, that, that, that uh, clutch trade, I guess you could call it right now. Moving yep. this one out to Thies. Yep, no, I'm, I'm loving the momentum right here, man. Good consistency going on with the offense, man. It's rolling right now. That's what you got to do, man. First down, first down, first down. Keep burning this clock right here, man. Don't throw anything to the outside. You know, that will cause you to get out of bounds and become incomplete. Just take what they're giving you right there. 
keep the clock rolling, keep the chains moving. A touchdown at this point, if they have to do something before this clock runs out, is a must. If they get that touchdown, this game is clearly over. And they're moving the ball, and this is not how you... Oh, it's a first fumble. And it's going to be recovered going. by Texas. Oh, and it's like the tackle still on his feet. He gets to a 40-yard line, and just like that, oh, the Lawrence might be able to pull off a comeback and win it. And this is this time for my joke right here, man. Texas just told oh, OU, no you, right here. Gets the fumble right there. Picks it up, and Wheeler almost turned that to the house, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> man, did he fumble this, though? Oh, it looks like he hit the ground first. This should be reviewed uh, uh, at least. Sam mm. Ellinger coming out onto the field. He's happy. I mean, 61 passing yards, one intercept. Terrible night for him. But uh, I'm not seeing no booth review yet. And they should get one. I don't think he fumbled that football. And there it goes. <laughs> There's the booth review. Oh, boy. <laughs> play is under review. Oh, man. This is probably going to get reversed right here, man. Almost. Hit that ground. He definitely hit that ground before yeah, that ball yeah, came yeah. up. You see right there, well, mm -hmm. the, that angle it really wasn't that good. The last one showed that he hit that ground yeah. first. It should still be OU's football, and hopefully it comes out in the grease. Oh, man. Oh, saved by the replay. <laughs> After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. <laughs> yep, it's going to be reversed. Oklahoma sideline ecstatic, ecstatic about that. You know, the time is still going to continue to run, but one thing is Oklahoma's out of field goal range after giving up that 10-yard sack. Remember, Texas has all three of their timeouts, too. There goes a run. And he is going to be down at the 42. Third and 17. If they can get maybe at least 10 yards out of this play, kick a field goal, that'll help them. And if they don't, they give... Texas a good amount of time. Look at this. Chiefs kid catches the ball. And he does get him in field goal range. Doesn't get the first down. Man, yeah, like you said, a beautiful catch. Boy, his kid makes his third of the day. And he should be able to knock this field goal down from the 27-yard line. Oh, man, what a catch that was, man. Great athletic play to get up there and get that ball. And that's exactly what they needed right there to set themselves up for field goal range. But they got to make the kick right here. It will be a 44-yard attempt. Does he have the leg? Does he have the accuracy? Under a minute and a half left to go. Texas has all three of their timeouts. So the oh, they ran a they fake. They ran a fake. Oh, what are they doing? Oh my. This, this whole game has been a terrible play calling from both teams, and that has to be by far the worst one of the night. Bro, they ran a fake. That is crazy. <laughs> that oh, man. Wow. Definitely was planning on dropping highlights today, and uh, you're not getting any from this game. That's for sure. Oh, man. What in the world, man? Terrible. Now Texas, if they come back and win this game, maybe I could <laughs> drop a highlight tape about that. But Jesus, that, oh. that was awful. Sam Ellinger's got a chance to be a hero. And this is what he's been doing all day, scrambling. <laughs> and there he is getting to the 33-yard line. And it's getting to six. Hey, man, I think I smell eggs, man. That's how much he's been scrambling here tonight, <laughs> man. <laughs> Definitely been scrambling a lot. There's now under a minute. This is another thing that EA has to fix is time management. Yes. Under two minutes is it's absolutely atrocious. Seen a couple games lost because of that as well. This another incomplete pass, Sam Ellinger. And he's looked terrible. The only good thing about that is it stopped the clock after they just lost 37 seconds or 27 mm -hmm. seconds on the clock off of a got scramble. A, got a good like 40 yard gain too out of that play. I mean, he had to slant wide open and nobody was around in the middle. Yeah. Just missed the opportunity. This be interesting here, man. Got like one over the top here. 57. Oh my God. Oh, man. There he is scrambling. Oh, he's he thinks he is right now, but 
And then they're not, timeout. not burning any timeouts, but they do get the first down, so the clock does stop, so they're probably going to call a timeout, and the clock starts back up. Oh, man. Man, Ellinger, you can't do this at this point of the game. On the ball, on the Ooh. ball, come on. They're going no huddle, still haven't called the timeout. And Ellinger, oh, oh my goodness, off the pin. <laughs> and they will finally burn a timeout. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I guess you could call it a gutsy performance by Ellinger right now. I mean, he did pick up the first down. He is using his feet right here. He has them in territory right now, but they need six, six points. And there he goes, first and ten. What is he doing? He got a lead slide at the first oh, down. Oh, he's Look chucking. Look at him over the shoulder. Hey. <laughs> that was actually a pretty entertaining scramble right there. Oh my gosh, and guess what he's been doing all night? This guy's got about 130 yards on the ground tonight, man. Man, he's got 23 what? seconds left though on one timeout. He better throw this football at some point or he's going to call. There goes the throw and it completes the half. <laughs> timeout, 18 seconds left in this game. A touchdown will win for him and Sam Ellinger, he better not scramble. If he oh, does, boy. this game. Oh, scramble. Pass it. Get the first it down. Clock stops. Yeah, stop the clock. All right. Now you got to spike it real quick. Yeah. You got to get back and spike it real quick. That's if they spike it. I got a feeling, yeah, man, after all the fair play calls, they might actually run a play here. Oh, man. Cheetah, Let's see. Cheetah. Oh, they're going to run a play. play. Got to get the ball one. They get the ball off the one time. I, throws uh, and complete. And they have one enough time for one more play. One play, man. One play. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> and I really don't like it here in the hands of Sam Allen. Oh, man. If he runs this in for it to the end zone, <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> That would be wild with second and goal. <laughs> Spreading out the field. He very well could. He's Moving around. Pass it. Oh, no. He's short. <laughs> oh, man. Oklahoma pulls off the upset in probably one of the worst games, I'd have to say, that we've called. Well, second worst. I remember the one that was just terrible. <laughs> this one, man, was just full of terrible play calling, terrible, full of man. turnovers, full of, you know, just absolute – just stupidity to its yeah. to its hot level, but Oklahoma was ten to six. Oh man, what a what a game that was, man! Really, really exciting at toward the end there, man. A lot of back and forth action right there, but hey, I can't even be mad, man. Great defensive stop right there by the Sooners, man. Who get to improve this week? You look at these stats, atrocious. My goodness, nobody even touched two hundred in any category. Mm. Maybe just over that and total offense and and just a terrible game but Oklahoma gets the win that they needed and they drop Texas to the same record of four and five and so both of these teams they want to play in a bowl game they got to win two of their last three so it's going to be interesting but that's going to do it here for us man uh thankfully this game's over uh, <laughs> Oklahoma wins this one 10 to 6 and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Alabama versus Tennessee game. That one should be great. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Yep. And until next time, peace.